do the people who really know you, who they they love you and they care about you, do they tell you they can't wait to see you on Oprah? They see something powerful within you. They see something incredible. They're they're amazed. They're taken aback. And they know that you have a message in your heart. And they see it. They honor it. And they are rooting for you. They're rooting for you. They really care about you. Stay to the end of this video because I'm going to share a, a little trick that, that I use to help me share more. And they know that you have this incredible power. They know that you were meant to make a difference in this world. And you know what? I think you know it too. I think you know it as well. And that you have, you have this ache. You have this desire, this burning passion to make a positive impact on the world around you through your, your message, through your being, through your authentic self. And you know you were meant to do that. But you have a problem. And that is the thoughts inside of your head that you have these thoughts that are are telling you that 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 you're not good enough to do that that they ask you who are you to share who are you to make this impact on the world these are self-conscious thoughts these are thoughts that are called imposter syndrome imposter syndrome and it kind of sounds bad it kind of is like oh well, you have imposter syndrome i'm sorry you only have three weeks to live <laughs> it's it's not that big of a deal but it is a big deal because these thoughts are stopping you in your tracks they're stopping you from sharing they are this wall, this barrier that you're creating and you know that you're standing in your own way. And you know what? It frustrates the, the shit out of you. You are so tired of having this desire, but then not being able to because you question yourself and then you judge yourself for questioning yourself. But it doesn't have to be that way. I knew that I was meant to make a difference in this world. I had that ache, that burning desire to help other people. And I had someone tell me, oh man, I can't wait to see you up on stage or see you on TV next month. And they meant it truly. But it went for years that I didn't take any action towards that. I stayed in my job and kept working, doing something that, that I was pretty passionate about, but I never shared I never spoke out. I was afraid. And then I found an understanding of how thoughts work and the mind works. And now I share with natural confidence. I get out of my own way. And then not, not all the time. I still get in my way sometimes, you know, it's like yeah, I'm still human. I'm still human. And you're you're human too. This is a part of it. But that has quieted down so much. And I want that for you too. I want you to be able to share with freedom.
without inhibition, with that courage. And, and actually, it's beyond courage, isn't it? You don't even think of it. It, it just is this natural, authentic expression, and it doesn't get in your way at all. What if all of those blocks could just dissolve? And they can. Do you know why? Because they're made of thinking. They're made of your thought. So all of those blocks can just dissolve. In the next moment, with a single powerful new thought, a realization that is right for you, and then guess what? You get to experience more of your richest life. And then you share that. And you help other people experience their richest life. How amazing. How wonderful. I can't. I freaking cannot wait to see you express who you really are. Oh, there's magic in it. It's beautiful. It's incredible. We love to see that. We love to watch people soar. Oh, isn't it, isn't it exciting? And you can do it too. You have that ability. But you're afraid of heights right now. You're in your own way sometimes. So it, at the end of this video, I promised a, a secret of, of how I am starting to, to share more. And it's this. So all of the, the consumption that you do, by consumption, I mean like the books that you read, the social media that you scroll through, the movies that you watch. All of that takes up a certain percentage of your life. Now, what would happen? I'm a little curious, okay? Let's be curious. What would happen if you took that percentage and you spent, I'm not even asking for 50%, but just a little bit more of that percentage on creating, on sharing, on speaking? on writing. Doesn't have to be 50%. It can be, you can go from, from 5% or maybe you're at zero. I don't know. I don't, if you're at zero, totally fine. Like that's, it's probably where I was at a while ago. I, I didn't post a single thing on social media and I would write every once in a while, but I wasn't connecting with who my true expression but if you, even just 5% of that 100% of time that you're consuming, create. Oh my gosh. You're going to be amazed at what you can accomplish over time. Even just a little bit more, just 5%, you're going to be like, oh my gosh, I've made this amount of videos. Or I've written a, a whole chapter of a book. Or I have, I have created a speech or I've made an impact on somebody that I really care about. I've taken the time. That's my invitation is for you to just spend a little bit more today. Okay. So that is what you, that is what you need to do. Can you do it? Yes, you can. And guess what? If those old thoughts come up that I'm not good enough, the self-conscious, the imposter syndrome, RIP <laughs> thoughts are coming up. Let them just come up. Let them be noise. You can still do what you want to do. And then that's just in the background noise and recognize it as old stale thought, borrowed thought. Oh, that's just old thought. Okay, that can be there. Yeah. 
You don't have to force it away. You don't have to fight it. It doesn't work very well. It tends to punch back. Oh, ow. <laughs> but when those thoughts come up, just see them as noise and create. Oh, I can't wait for you. Can't wait to see what you're going to create. I can't wait. This has been the Rich Life Realization Podcast. My name is Rich Life, and I help, I help those aspiring thought leaders to drop the imposter syndrome so that they can have the impact on the world that they want to create, that they were meant to create. And this is the Rich Life Realization Podcast. We explore the richest life possible for you and especially for those around you. But it has to start with you. It really does. You have the power. Start today. Create one thing. One post. One song. One paragraph. Start there and see what happens.